Hey Wonders, today we're taking a St. Augustine to the Historic District for Nights of Lights. And it's perfect timing because St. Augustine was just nominated one of the best places to spend your holidays by USA Today. And since it's our hometown, we can't wait to show you around. So let's go check it out. Hey Wanders, today we are taking you to spend the holidays with us in downtown St. Augustine, Florida. The historic Old Town is known for having one of the best Christmas light displays in all of the U.S. And we're going to give you some tips to beat the crowds and make the most of your visit. So we love coming downtown St. Augustine during the holidays. They have so much going on. They have the Knights of Lights, which are just absolutely beautiful. Uh, there's great window shopping. Uh, the town is decorated for Christmas and you can really just feel the best of this. Tip number one, if you can fit it into your schedule, visit St. Augustine during the week instead of on the weekends. It'll help you avoid the crowds. A must stop is Crucial Coffee downtown St. Augustine. They have the best hot cocoa and amazing oh, coffee flavors, so make sure you check it out. Tip number two, parking downtown St. Augustine is never easy, especially during peak season, but there are plenty of ride share options. And if you do opt to drive, note that parking on the street at all meters are free after five. To save even more time, download the local parking app. We'll put the link for you in our description. Tip number three, avoid the dinner rush. We like to eat early to avoid the crowds. Another great option is to duck into a local pub off the main track. Just relax, have a drink, and wait out the crowds. Check out their menus, because you might find something great there too. So we are out in St. Augustine for Nights of Lights, and before the lights all come on, we just popped into Chatsworth, which is a great pub, right by the marina and the water. And they have a great happy hour, so we definitely recommend stopping in here if you get the time. I got a hot toddy because I'm always cold and it feels kind of festive. So I'm going to enjoy this. I think it's a little bit more for this feeling. Tip number four. It's worth taking the extra time to look at some of the other available options that might not be as crowded as riding the Holly Jolly Trolley, which is fun, but we prefer seeing it by water, horse and carriage, or running a private golf cart. We'll add some links below for you to check out. Tip number five, don't forget to wander. There is so much to see and do in St. Augustine that it can be easy to jam pack your schedule, but don't forget to leave time to just be in the moment and enjoy the day and see where it takes you. For even more information about St. Augustine, make sure you check out our travel book in the links below. Subscribe for more travel tips. And check our links in the description below. Until next time, keep wandering.